Hey, y'all, this week's quick tip is yet another feature update inside Google Docs, and these are called table templates. I love using tables, period, in Google Docs. It helps me organize things, but I especially love using tables to organize collaborative activities for students. It kind of gives them some designated real estate. But let me show you what is set up automatically in each of these templates. So to get to the templates, remember when I talked about using that at symbol, that's where you're going to find these. So all you have to do is type at and you're going to get this menu and you're going to go to building blocks and then you will see four options, four different tables. And so I'm going to walk you through each of these and tell you how I think they could be useful in the classroom. So the first one is the project roadmap template. And I think this is perfect for PBL and just for general big classroom projects. When students have multiple things that they have to do, they have to reach milestones, maybe they have to get some things checked before they can move on to the next piece of the project, this is great. Now, here's the thing, these can be completely customized. So I can change this, I can change the name of the drop down menu, go back to the drop down menu, quick tip, and you can edit all of those as well. So this can be used for anything. It doesn't even have to be a project, but it's a great starting point, And I love that it's automatically created for me. So again, I just want to show you how quickly this works. When I go to building blocks and just click on product roadmap, there it is. That's it. Super simple. And the next one is the, called the review tracker. And it just lists a review. Um, I'm sorry, it just lists the reviewer, the status, and some notes. So I see this being perfect for peer editing with students, whether that's writing or other types of work that students may be evaluating and reviewing for each other. And then this, this next one here is the project assets table. Now, here's what's great when you want to insert a link to a file and actually make it a chip. So when, it, when it's a linked chip, we just type in at, now scroll down below building blocks and you'll actually see files. And so here it's gonna by default bring up some of your most recent files and you can attach these here. Love this. So I don't think everything has rolled out yet that's going to roll out in terms of how this works, but I love this and I love that we can bring these assets together. So this is great for assignment tracking, especially for those that struggle to get things done on time. I could definitely see using this, you know, as we near the end of a grading period and I've got some students who need to play catch up. Um, this could be great um, if you're not currently using an LMS system. Maybe this is another way that you could actually track it and use it. And then the last one is a content tracker. So this is great for student blogging or any type of publishing students may be doing. Um, the content type, the description, the publish date, where it's going to be published or linked to content, or if you have students managing um, other types of uh, publishing, social accounts or anything like that. I love these table templates. I hope you enjoyed seeing these. Again, customize these, make these work for you and your students. If you like this tip, ring the bell, click that thumbs up and subscribe so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. And if you haven't already, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and find all of our free resources there for teachers and educators.